and I am helping to lead the Empowered and Well Online Church Challenge for the American Heart Association. At this time, I'd like to first thank everyone for joining the Ambassador Training Call tonight. Whether this is your first training call or you're coming back for more information, welcome. We know that everyone is busy and is, has places to be, so thank you for carving out this time to spend with us. I'm going to quickly go through the um, attendance once again. If you can please sign into the chat box with your name and the church that you're representing so that we know who was able to join the call. And we will be recording this call and sending it out in an email um, within the next day or so so that you can access it if you need. Okay, if you are on the phone, please make sure your lines are muted. I will open up the call at the end for questions. All right, let's get started. So our mission at the AHA is to be a relentless force for a world of longer and healthier lives for all communities and individuals. And we know that working with our faith-based communities and in particular with the African-American community can help us move the needle to optimal health and start to change the gaps in health disparities. Okay, there we go. So that is really why we have come up with the online challenge. Um, you guys have signed up for the Empowered and Well Healthier Church Challenge. So you really know what this program is about and we wanted to make sure that those that were not able to be a part of the Healthier Church Challenge had another way of engaging their um, church in a program so we've developed a complimentary online 12 week program and this will enhance your faith based community with the ability to gather once a week to watch a virtual health lesson video access lesson materials and assess your learnings through a short quiz so really these are the top three things you need to remember with the program we've tried to keep it as simple as possible with the least amount of action items because we really want you to be able to focus on your community and on impacting the health of your community rather than thinking through all of the steps that you need to do um, in the challenge. So why are we embarking on this challenge? If we can look at these staggering statistics, will know why it's so important. Black women have three times the risk of sudden cardiac death compared to white women. African Americans are twice as likely to suffer from sudden cardiac death compared to whites. While one third of all Americans live with obesity, that figure jumps to one half among African Americans. And cardiovascular disease claims the lives of more black women than all forms of cancer accidents, assault, and Alzheimer's disease combined. These statistics should move us to action to figure out what we can do to make a change. And this program is a beginning, an empowering step to help drive you and your community to be informed because knowledge is power. This program will provide health content but it will also help to inspire and motivate your community to take control of your health through weight loss, blood pressure management, and more. To start or expand on what you're already doing, like walking groups and health ministries to cooking healthier meals or provide healthier snacks or meal choices served at your church and at home. These are just some of the ways you'll be able to take the learnings from this program beyond the classroom but also to make living healthier and making healthier choices the standard. So at this point, um, we'd like to welcome our proud sponsor, WW. And I think Sherry is on the call. Hey guys, sorry, I was uh, offline, I just joined. So 
can you just uh, repeat what you just said and then I'm happy to say a few words on behalf of WW? Yeah, sure. We were just welcoming you to give a few words as our proud sponsor for the online church challenge. Awesome. Well, hello everyone. My name is Sherry Thompson and I'm uh, the Senior Vice President for Community Engagement and Activation at WW. And we are thrilled to be a sponsor of the Healthier Church Challenge with the American Heart Association and are really excited that we're able to offer this online component, which is really because of all of you. Uh, we had such a phenomenal uh, response for the overall challenge that we really wanted to look for ways that we could help you and your congregations live a healthier life. So the online component allows us to do that, which is also really important for us for WW. We are committed to helping to inspire healthy habits for real life for all communities. And that's the reason why we're doing even more work in the African-American community, because we know the need is there and we know there's a lot of um, great programs underway um, that we can support to help make a bigger difference in the community. So again, really thrilled to be a sponsor of this program and look forward to working with you all on the challenge. Thank you so much, Sherry. Okay, so moving on to the church ambassador implementation. So um, if this is your first call, I think that everybody's been getting the emails at least where the people who are leading the churches we are titling as church ambassadors. So as the ambassador, you'll be leading the on online program for your church, which begins on Monday, March 2nd. You'll pick one day a week where your group will get together to watch a health lesson. And here is what you will need to have a successful program. The first thing you'll need is access to a room with a projector and Wi-Fi because you will be accessing the health lessons through a video and that will be through Adobe Connect. And you can only access Adobe Connect through your computer. You cannot access it through a smartphone or a tablet, um, it, it, you won't be able to pull it up. So make sure you have a computer and a projector and access to Wi-Fi. You'll also want to print the supplement lesson materials that you will get um, so that you can distribute it to the class participants in the room. And also we sent out an email to everyone on February 17th so you could demo the Adobe Connect program if you have not done that, please do that before Monday so that you can be familiar with the program and let us know if you have any issues um, or if you don't have that email and we can get that to you. So again, each week you will pick a day where you will, which will work best for your church group. You can make this a part of any other activities that you have going on on Sunday, Saturday morning, um, during Bible study, after Bible study. Um, really, you know what works best for your congregation. So every Monday, starting this Monday, March 2nd, the ambassadors will receive an email. This email will look exactly like the email that you see on the PowerPoint, which I will send to you. Um, if you can't see it right now on the call. Um, and each email will provide you with the links to these training calls that we've had. If you want to go over them again, if you have any questions, you will also get the links to the supplemental lesson materials for each week. So you can go in and print them before the lesson. You will distribute those lessons and then when everybody comes to your lesson and sits down, you'll be able to stream the video that will be provided to you in the email. And then after each of the lessons, you will ask your participants to take the health lesson quiz to assess their learnings. And if you cannot access your email at the time, it will also be available on the website. So everything on the email will also be available on the website if you cannot access your email. So again, here are the weekly action items. Before the lesson, you will print out the material. 
You will get started with your lesson by distributing the material, streaming the health lesson, which you will get that website link every week. And then you will ask your attendees to take the weekly quiz. So the weekly quiz will also be a part of Adobe Connect. So you will see that all on the main screen. If you haven't gone to the Adobe Connect training, you'll be able to access that and see exactly what I'm talking about. But so for week one, you'll see it will be empoweredtoserve.org slash quiz one. So what you'll want your attendees to do is take out their smartphone or tablet or computer after they've watched the health lesson and type in that URL and they'll be able to take the quiz. And I'll tell you why that's important in a few minutes. The last action item will be to empower your participants to take the lesson beyond the classroom. And that will be by texting the word empower to 46839. And that will sign them up for our Year the Cure program, which is an advocacy program. And it will, um, they'll be automatically signed up to receive emails about the advocacy efforts that they can not only do as part of our lessons. So some of the lessons will have advocacy components that they can take action on, but um, other relevant advocacy um, items that are going to be presented in Congress or that are relevant to health that you can take action on throughout the year. So let's move on to timeline and program implementation. So today is the last day that you can sign up as a church to enroll in the program. So if you're on this line trying to figure out if you're still interested or if this is a program that you feel like you can make happen with your church, you have until the end of today to sign up and we really hope you'll join us. On February 17th, we sent an email with the Adobe Connect demo lesson. If you did not receive that, please reach out to us at empoweredtoserve at heart.org and we will make sure that you get that before Monday. We had a training call on February 19th and the training call today, and we have the recording for the February 19th one and we will send out the recording for today as well so you can review anything that you um, didn't catch and you can email us with any of your questions. The program will launch on March 2nd and you will get an email every Monday with the 12 health lessons all the way up until the last day of the program. And then on Friday, June 5th, we will announce the online church challenge finalist. So let's talk a little bit more about that. So two churches will be provided with a $1,000 incentive. Thank you to WW for um, being such a proud sponsor and, you know, really being a great partner in this effort. They have allowed for us to give two churches $1,000. One church will be of, from the small church category, which is 500 members or less. And one will come from the large church category, which is 501 members or more. And the way we will know your church size is um, by your email. So we've sent out an email requesting your church member size. So please make sure that you send that in so you can qualify for the church incentive program. And the criteria really comes from the quiz completion. So after each online health lesson that you stream, when you ask your participants to take that quiz, the first thing you're asked for is your name and the church that you watch the um, health lesson video. So that is how we will track attendance. So make sure that everyone in the room takes that quiz after the online health lesson. And we will base the um, quiz completions and determine the winners based upon the highest ratio of participants that took the quiz to the church member size. And then we will announce that on our website on June 5th. 
So here's a little bit more about what each week will entail. Each week you will just be able to access. So on week one, you will get the first lesson. On week two, you will have access to week one and week two, but not week three. So you will only get the lesson. Um, you will not get any future lessons. You can only access the one that corresponds with the week. So week one, you will learn how to advocate for access to affordable quality and healthcare through the AHA program, You're the Cure. On week two, you will understand more about diabetes and the link to heart disease and stroke. On week three, you will learn more about blood pressure and the importance it has in your overall health. On week four, you will learn about heart disease, specifically, um, and stroke in women in our Go Red for Women program. On week five, you will learn about the warning signs of a heart attack and what you can do in the event that you or someone you know is suffering from a heart attack. On week six, you will learn about smoke-free communities because believe it or not, even in 2020, there are cities and states that still do not have regulation against smoking in public areas. You will learn on week seven about eating smart and adding more fruits and vegetables to your diet. On week eight, you will learn about sodium and the link with reducing your salt intake and how it will improve your cardiovascular health. On week nine, you will learn about hands-only CPR. On week 10, you will learn about sugar and reducing your sugar-sweetened beverage intake. On week 11, you will learn more about physical activity. And on week 12, you will learn how to spot a stroke fast, which are the warning signs and what you should do in the event of yourself or somebody you know suffering from a stroke. So what you'll see on this slide is a toolkit that was made to help with getting your church enrollment and to get people to attend your weekly lessons. We've put together this um, toolkit that's available on the website and we will also be emailing it to everybody um, before the start of the program. So you'll see that the Toolkit includes several elements, a letter to the pastor, a frequently asked questions document, video links to both a video from Oprah and Brian Courtney Wilson helping you to promote the program, a health lessons grid, which is what we just went through, what each of the lessons will entail, a pulpit announcement, and also printable flyers, which you can, um, add your church information to, and then also social media messaging and inspirational words that you can add to any of your promotional elements or any of your weekly emails or any um, format that you have to uh, reach your church congregation. And here is an example of what those flyers and bulletins will look like. And you can insert the name of your church, the day that you're choosing to hold your health lesson, um, et cetera. So that will be available to you again on the website for you to access, and we will also be emailing that to you. We'd also love to hear from you during your program. You can email us with your success stories or how your church is liking the program. And we'd love to see you promote your program and what you're doing on social media so our team can help amplify what you're doing. So we encourage you to use the tag, use and tag Empower to Serve on Facebook and also the American Heart Association handles on um, Facebook and Instagram. And you can also use the hashtag Church Challenge to help you get that message across. So at this time, I'd like to thank you again for signing up for the challenge, and we'd like to open it up for questions.
Michelle, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Tiffany Cross with New Creation. Um, I have, my question is, um, because I guess we got behind because everything just happened so quick. And there's a process at our church in which we get things approved and get them running and get things in place. Mm -hmm. So what happens if we're not able to launch mm -hmm. on the third? What if we have to wait an additional week to launch? Is there a way for us to catch up? Does that disqualify us, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth? That is totally fine. We totally understand that, you know, churches have a specific um, way that they get things approved. And we know that, you know, some people may not even be able to have a health lesson one week. We know that one of the weeks is during um, Easter week. So some people might not be able to make it happen that week. So you are definitely able to start, let's say on week two. So on week two, you'll want to watch lesson one and two together and take the quizzes but you won't be able to get ahead of schedule. That's the only thing. So we won't post week three until week three actually happens. But you can definitely do multiple lessons. You, you'll, you can do two lessons in one week because the quizzes will be open for a two week time period. So you can definitely start, if you can't start this week, you can start next week with lesson two and one together. The second question is, do we have to have them the same day every week? So, um, yeah, that I think that's self Do we have to have it the same? You don't. You can definitely do whatever works for your church. And I know on the other training calls, somebody asked if they could have it multiple times a week because some churches, you know, some people could maybe not make one day but could make another day um so they wanted to host multiple days and that's okay too um if you can just email us you could email us every week if you want with what day you're going to hold the lesson just because we want to make sure that we have staff on call and ready just you know in case something technical happens you know that we can make sure we're checking our email that day Okay, my last question is, now what, is, what will be the part that Weight Watchers um, play in the information provided? Um, because that's been the question from the parishioners that have been hearing about that we were going to do this program and they're excited that Weight Watchers included. They wanted to know what type of access to Weight Watchers information will they receive? Hi, so this is Sherry again, and thank you for that question and even for the support and interest in our brand and our program. So um, we are overall the sponsor of the challenge. And then very specifically to what our current offerings are, as a part of the online program, we are giving all of those uh, interested members a free one month digital membership um, for our program, which allows um, all of your members to be able to use our award-winning app, which is really easy to use, but I oftentimes talk about it as a wellness partner in the palm of your hands. So it will allow people to be able to use our new MyWW uh, nutritional program, which will really help them um, make better choices from an eating perspective. It will also include um, our Fitz Points program, which helps people be more active. We also have a partnership with an organization called Active, which actually will give your members audio workouts as a part of the app as well. Um, it also has some other features around a barcode scanner. So for your members, when they're grocery shopping or depending on the item that they're eating, they'll be able to scan the barcode and be able to see how many smart points are actually in the foods that they're eating so they can make better choices. It also has a restaurant um, a tool that allows them for most of the, I'd say common restaurants across the country, it will allow them to pull up the menu and be able to assess um, how healthy something is or not. So again, it helps them make better choices. Um, and then we also have uh, a database of over 8,000 recipes that your members will also have access to. So anyone who wants to participate in the challenge will have free access to that and we'll give you the link 
um, that they can get the information and be able to use that tool to help them on their journey. Thank you so much. I'll have to try to remember all of that, but is that on, on any of the documents that we have? Well, we will um, be sending you a link to the website that will give you all of those details plus more. And then for those who might be interested after the uh, promotional uh, time period is over, the free trial is over, um, we also have in place a special discount um, just for this church program specifically. So Amen. if you do it in the market, you wouldn't be able to have I'm access to it. Shorter. But Churches we secured that for, for this program. I think someone may need to mute their line. Okay. I'm not sure what that is, but, well, is but in any is. case, uh, we're here to support you. And yes, um, we'll send you the link so that you have access to all of that information. Thank you, Sherry. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. I think Elise with Greater St. Paul, um, you wrote in, what is the length of each lesson? And can our church have two or more sessions per week? Great questions. So each of the lessons will be 30 minutes or less. Okay. And you can definitely have more than one session per week. Just make sure that whoever is attending yes. takes the quizzes after what? the healthy church lesson. Everyone can just mute if you're able to so that we don't hear any feedback. So yes, the answer is you can have more than one session per week. Does anyone else have a question? Okay, well, if you do happen to have a question before the launch, we're available um, to answer any of your questions. Please email us at empoweredtoserve.org or sorry, empowered to serve at heart.org. And we will send out the recording as well as the toolkit okay. sometime probably tomorrow. So please let us know if you have any questions before then. And please make sure that you send us your church size and the day that you plan to hold your health lesson each week. And if it's changing, that's okay too. You can just email us if it changes. Thanks everyone for joining and have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thanks everyone.